Hello everyone, all Sagator back again. Alright. So let's talk about EF Johnson Fire Safe. Um it's best I can tell kind of like personal accountability on the uh on the Apex and XTS, but not kind of. It, it's weird. Um it's good though. It's it's fun. Um I have some thoughts about it just mainly because it's proprietary and they no one else has it because proprietary. Um, hush you. So, yeah. Um, I believe I haven't tested this yet because I don't have a version 6 5100, but it should be compatible from what people have been telling me. Can't confirm it. Not going to say anything about that. So, first off, let's look at our soft keys. Uh, let's backlight that one. Wow, that did not make it any better. Let's wait for that to turn off. Or, yeah. So, there we go. We got two soft keys here. CDR1 and RSP1. And then if I go over, RSP2 and EVAC. So, we're going to go to another unit so I don't have to worry about coming back on. You got command. So, CDR1 is going to be Commander 1. RSPs are going to be Responder. One, two, three, four, five, six, etc. And evac, well, F evac is evac. Um, I'll explain that here in a bit. So first things first, we got to set one of these up to be the commander. Um, I've only got commander one programmed as an option. You can have commander one through commander six. So let's go and push and hold. It's going to swap to the programmed, menu, the programmed channel I have for this, which is 5P25. It's going to say Commander 1. So we're going to set U to the side. And we're going to set all these up as Responder. On this one, this first one, I'm going to do Responder 2. And on these other two, five Responder 1. Five I'm going to make sure all these got to... Oh, except for that one. And I'll explain why that one didn't swap, but let's just manually do that. Four digital, five digital. I might have to go into Responder. There we go. Responder 2, Responder 1, Responder 1. Um, in CPS, you can choose up to four, I think. Four or five, maybe even six um, programmable uh, menus. Well, not menus, channels. So the moment you hit a responder or commander button, it swaps to that one, um, the assigned one, you know, one, two, three, four, five, six. So now these two are responder one, responder two, commander one. So let's do this. I have the back arrow programmed as, um, don't mind that it says reg failed. I don't have my, uh, um, I have these set up for data registration um, for OTAP and um, data, location, battery, etc. But I'll have that radio plugged in or on this channel. So, yeah. Um, so I have this back bent button set up for um, in range check. Send a data packet to the commander. Commander responds back. They're like, okay, wonderful. We're in range. So let's hit it on, start with the responder one. So if I hit it on this one, it'll make a noise back because it got a successful okay from. Commander. Now, if I had it on this one, I'll also get it. So, any responder, regardless of its 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, etc., will work. You know, doesn't, you don't all have to be matching on your friends. It's nice to have it, but yeah. So, now on the commander, get that angle. Nope, that's. There we go, that's somewhat readable. If we go over here to F evac, push and hold. All of them make a noise until you press A button to acknowledge. Um, on the display when they were doing that, it says evac alert. Um, so yeah, however, if I go into, let me just conf 
actually let's steal mm, yeah let's take you off responder one so push and hold goes back to one digital we're gonna go back to five Four digital, four digital, five digital. Papa. Oh. Go into commander mode. So now this one's commander one as well. Did you do it? Of course it's not working. Hang on. Ah, uh, boy. Okay, let's try the original one. Oh. But yet, this one, Commander 1, did not go into evac. So they're all in the same one. Five. 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 So, that's a caveat. You can only have uno commander radios whether it be portable or mobile um i haven't tested yet if it's if it works okay ish if this one's commander one this one's on commander two i suspect that doesn't really matter i think the different numbers afterwards is just if you have different channels pre-programmed in as you know it goes directly there um so yeah i i think that's what it is but let's put oh you have to take it off commander put it on respond no let's go off responder two go under responder one let's see here go into here There we go. So, on here, I cannot do a responder uh, call check. Which, all these ones. Hmm. Alright. Well, this one's having issues. But basically, let's do this. If I go in here turn it off turn it off oh look it doesn't turn off just to verify so that's also another neat feature because anyone who well let's just say people don't trust fire chiefs for a reason um, so the radio will not turn off while in commander mode Digital. Turn that off. Now we go over here. And it's off now. Same thing over here. Cannot turn it off while in responder mode. So you don't want the firefighters accidentally bumping the knob and bam. Uh, one plus side of this as well in Armada, you can set it to lock everything. Volume. Buttons, everything, until this radio goes bye-bye. So now if we do a comm check, they're going to continue trying to send them. heard that but they were out of range for that split second until I heard these ones it was like oh, okay I must be in range <sighs> let me just do this I keep on trying to explain something and they keep on trying to be annoying go to four there you go so now calm check Ignore the reg failed yet again. It's gonna sit there trying. It 
still trying. Oh, there we go. Went out of range. Until what? Oh, the channel's got activity on it anyways. Okay, that that makes sense. So yeah, they'll go out of range. Uh, there's just something called Audible RSSI. I haven't quite figured that one out, so... Yeah. Don't kill me. I honestly have zero clue what Audible RSSI does. Um, anyone would like to tell me, I am very open. Uh, let's see, I think I actually programmed it in here. Hang on. Nope. Alright, whatever. So yeah, that's fun. Um, another cool thing that I got these to do now, through the wonderful help of a friend, let's put them over all on one. We do. These puppies do P25 two-tone now. So, if I go into here, take you off, Commander. They're now all in one digital. Take a trusty TP9400. Let's turn them up a little bit, but not too much. Do, 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 do. Make sure this one's turned down. And hit call. <laughs> got custom tones too so yeah you can I do quite like these units very customizable um, as you can hear you can change the uh, alert tone that they make for different events so yeah mucho good Daddy. Daddy. see y'all